everybody, Matt here. Uh, gonna do a quick update today. I did make it back up to the shop. Um, I finished up the wiring that was uh, for the Dominator and for the transmission. There are a few wires left, but I'll kind of explain that in a second. But let me show you what I did. I didn't record it because it was just mind-numbingly boring. And then I'm gonna show you how I plan to set up my drivetrain so I'm hopefully not pulling the transfer case in and out and in and out and in and out trying to get it aligned correctly because I'm going to try to line it up like the factory was. So sit tight and I'll show you that. All right, so here's what I ended up with. Um, I have all the wires. Uh, I do a loop just in case I have to cut some wire off later down the road so I have enough. And it kind of looks like a mess right now. Trust me, once it's all back together, it will be really nice looking. I've got it all in a very nice loom that I plan on running over the airbox outlet and then down into um, the shield that goes along the battery box. So that'll be there. Then I have the primary wire. Um, these are the three wires for the transmission accessories. And then this red wire with a white stripe is for ignition. So I've got to run that all the way to the other side. Um, it, it looks like a mess right now, but I promise when I get it done, it won't be. It'll be really nice, really clean, all hidden behind the air box and the shield. So you won't really see any wires except for if you look over the shield right here. And then I've still got to add the fuel pump relay. Um, I've got my 12 volt battery here that I've got to run primary wires, positive and ground over to the alternator and then ground wire down under the truck. The dominator's looking good, Airbox fits great. So as of right now, everything is exactly how I want it. I also went under the, uh, the dash over there Went ahead and wired in the 12 volt to the alternator, the 12 volt activator wire, the whole 12 volt fuse panel. Got a lot done today, um, but again, it was wiring, so it was pretty boring. I did rewire these relays and these fuses, so if y'all want me to show you how to do that with the correct connectors, um, just let me know and I can make a separate video about doing that because it's not hard, but I'll tell you, being able to cut these fuses, cut these relays and rewire them so their length is correct uh, is really handy, honestly. So. Now, let me just take a second. I'm going to show you how I plan on aligning the drivetrain. And I'm kind of doing that more for uh, you to tell me if you see a problem with it because I kind of need your help here. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. All right, so here's the plan, guys. You'll see that I have the old transmission and transfer case sitting on, uh, it's got some blocks of wood under it to lift it up. And then it's got the jack on the tail side because what I'm doing, this is my theory of what I'm doing is I've got the transmission set up to where the dowel holes are even. So I know the transmission is level on the ground. Now, what I'm gonna do, because what I'm trying to figure out is when I bolt this transfer case to this transmission, at what angle do we have to be so I'm not pulling the thing in and out? Because as you can see by all the holes, you can clock that thing wherever you want. So this is factory right here where you've got your output shaft on the front and then the output shaft on the back. So let me spin around and show you my theory here. I'm gonna measure from the center of this output and then I'm that to the ground because it's flat. So that to the ground. Then I'm gonna go to the front and I'm gonna measure from the output shaft on the front to the ground, which is obviously gonna be closer to the ground. And then I can not only find that angle but I can find that math equation. So when I bolt that thing up, I can do the exact same thing. I can elevate the transmission. I can measure from this output shaft to the ground and then go over there and measure from that output shaft to the ground. And I can do my adjustments out here on a flat surface um, instead of underneath that thing, which when you have a transmission transfer case on a transmission jack trying to wrestle that thing back and forth and back and forth, it is not fun. So in theory, the transmission's level, and I'm just hoping that the angle from that to that helps me set that up correctly. Y'all see any problem with that? Let me know. One thing I did want to take a second and show y'all is this uh, headlight. I've got to get the name of it. Actually, it's probably right there. What is that? Light bar. Well, that's not helpful. Light bar pro, maybe? Yeah, light bar pro. This is genius. I don't know who came up with it. I usually wear, um, let me get my other headlamp, something like this, which most everybody has. Not only does it stick out, which has never really been an issue, but it's a straight beam of light. This thing 
you hit one button on the side, watch your eyes, and it lights up. And now I've got light all the way around. It's tight to my head. It doesn't hit anything. I'm not sponsored by this company, but I will tell you that you can also do red. So if you want to do that RoboCop look, or if you hit both of them together, which is harder than it sounds, come on, there we go. You can do the middle spotlight. Um, I highly recommend this thing. It has been awesome today. I've been wearing it as I uh, wired under the dash. I've been wearing it as I wired over there. And you just kind of forget you have it on, but it provides so much light and it's waterproof and it provides, um, it's USB chargeable. I'm not sponsored by this company, but if, uh, if they want to send me some more of them, by God, I'll show y'all. Um, it, they're great though. I would highly recommend getting this. This is light bar. Yeah. Light bar pro is all it's called. Light bar pro has a little battery pack on the back. I've yet to even ha need to charge it. And I've put in light fixtures at my house. I've put in nest thermostats. I've done all kinds of stuff with it, but highly recommend it. So pick up one of these. If you don't uh, have one already, they're great. I've got the wiring done over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and measure for the angles on the transmission. And then I'm going to head home and I'll continue to work on it, guys. I want to get this thing back up and running. I'm really excited about it. I'm getting that fire back now that I'm getting stuff done. And uh, I'm ready to drive this thing. Y'all have a great new year. And hopefully I'll get another video up by the first. But we'll see.